We're now about to see a dog activities display. I'm going to let the arena commentator, Dave Ray, take it up and uh, tell you the story. All sorts of things going on here. We've got all kinds of dogs. We've got gun dogs, we've got agility dogs, we've got obedience dogs, we've got scenting dogs. You name it, we got dogs. Over to Dave Ray. Jenny Deakin to tell us all about Hill Works of Music. Brilliant, thank you, Dave. Well, welcome to Hill Works of Music team on. So you can see, Hill Works of Music can be um, done by any breed of dog, from large to small, which you'll see. They're all coming into the ring now. Hill Works of Music is one of the newest disciplines that the Kennel Club recognise, and you'll see lots of varieties. As you see, there's lots of age, different ages and different sizes of dogs. Skill level of handler. And they're all having fun and they're happy and healthy. Now, there's two divisions in hill work for music. The hill work division. So they're going to show you some hill work here. So there's eight recognized positions. You can go forwards, sideways, or backwards. And you see, there's lots of different dogs doing this. Yeah. And they're all maintaining a heel position. We've got the flat coat there doing some heel work. And he's doing a pivot there. Then we've got the freestyle division. Now, freestyle is anything but heel work. So you can see what these handlers are going to do. Oh, we've got Teddy the Pom. He's on his back legs there. We've got Henry doing some leg weeds. We've got Bracken the Cocker Spaniel. He's doing a reverse move. Sam, the King Charles Cavalier, always doing his reverse weave. Very nice. And then we've got Dennis, the young Border Collie, doing some reverse, reverse. Oh, very nice. Now, with free soul, you can use props. So I'm going to be uh, Henry's prop here, see what he can do. Yeah. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Now, we're going to have the dogs in front now. And they're going to show you the popular move of walking back. Off you go. And into play, now they're going to reinforce their dogs. Here, what the music is trained all positively, mainly with the clicker. And they're all having great fun with their dogs here. Now the music's going to change. So I'm going to welcome Carol and Bracken and Andrea and Henry and Mindy and the gorgeous white German Shepherd into the ring and they're going to show you some small routines. Now Mindy's going to be doing heel work with Sunny and these two in the middle here they're doing some freestyle so you can see the difference. So Mindy's doing a leg position there and going in a bit of a circle very nice and what's Bracken doing? He's sniffing the floor no he's in between the legs and he's going to go forwards and he's going to walk back. Whee! Very nice. Next, we're going to welcome into the ring. It's Leslie and her gorgeous young flat coat minstrel. Now, he's also trained as a gun dog. He goes on rough shoots also. And Leslie's a very experienced hat. He works a music handler and has judged it at Cross before. And then we've got the lovely Bernese Mountain Dog and Sandra doing some freestyle. Very nice, ladies. Next, we've got two little dogs coming into the ring. Oh, look at Teddy's doing a hop. How cute is that? They're doing some freestyle. Now at the back here we've got Rose and Sam. Now Rose learned about heel work to music through the Young Kennel Club. And I think she deserves a round of applause. She came first yesterday in the um, YKC freestyle final. So well done, Rose and Sam, yesterday. What's Teddy doing now? He's doing some twists and spins. Very nice. Well done, Teddy. Is he going to hide? Oh, very cute. Now we're going to have a change of handler. And we've got Christina and Great Dane through doing some heel work. And then we've got Val and Moss in the middle with young Dennis. Now he's just learning his move. If we can just have a pose from everybody. And give them a round of applause. Well done, Jenny. Everybody. What a great display by the heel work to music team. Now we're moving on to, well, a fascinating subject. I think none of us know a lot about it. It's Leo with the Bloodhounds.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the two bloodhounds we have here today. We've got young Charlie here with Dana, and we've got Robert with Daisy. Our bloodhounds, modern day society, still work the trails and the trials of the human being, of the scent of the human being. This has evolved right through the ages. Bloodhounds first came to these shores around about 1066 with William the Conqueror. Brought many hounds with him, French hounds that were scent hounds, and amongst them was the bloodhound. And the bloodhound has been with us since that time. It has evolved successfully through the ages. It was a hunting hound for blood sports at one time, long, long time ago. The aristocracy kept them, the royal houses of Europe kept them, and they were kept as pack hounds purposely for hunting deer and flushing out boar. But today, the modern bloodhound in the 21st century hunts the scent of a human being, or trails the scent of a human being. Does this quite naturally. We train our hounds from youngsters. We encourage them to respect livestock because we use so much farmland. We also encourage them to respect game such as pheasants, foxes, deer, etc. Uh, we, we, want, we wish them to remain staunch to the scent of the human being. Fascinating old breed, lovely history, lots of old literature about them, lovely artwork from them as well over the ages. Lovely old breed which we get a tremendous amount of fun from today and we work very hard to keep this breed going under the old species of the Kennel Club with the trials and the various other activities that we do. And like everybody that owns a dog that works, we think our dog's got the best nose in the business. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Leo. If you want to go and see Leo, she's up in the activities area, can he? she'll talk to you about the bloodhounds. Next, we've got the obedience team. Claire Copeland, the team from Master Brook Club, we're going to show, show, tell you all about obedience. Thank you very much. We can see some send-away markers being placed out in the middle of the ring. And we're going to have a look at Wesley first. He's our golden retriever. And he actually retires today, ladies and gentlemen. So when he leaves the ring later, he needs a special round of applause. So as you notice here, his mat's being placed out at the back marker. Sue's just going to point him to the area. Off he goes. He's looking for his mat. I'm very tired, Mum. There we are. Let's give him a round of applause. He's done it. So, as ever, he's given lots of praise for having done the right thing. So then, here's Tony. Now, you notice this dog, look at her bottom. She's up off the floor, she's raring to go. Tony's saying, you wait there. She's a fly ball dog, so she's used to high energy stuff. She wants to get on with it. Off she goes. Man, but just hold that applause for a second. And Tony gives us some praise. And then we give her the applause. There we go. Good girl. OK. Here we've got Bert. He's a working beardy. He's working at the top level of obedience. Now he's point being pointed to the area. Off he goes. And hold that applause for a second, because this is the second part of the exercise. Here now we can see a pickup. And he's missed it, Quinn. There we go. Very noisy, distracting, and about turn and halt. What about that, ladies and gentlemen? That's a send away and pick up. OK, well, how do you start, you may be wondering. OK, this is Lauren. She's got beautiful Ruby here. Let's bring Ruby out. And she hasn't been training very long. But how we start off is we run the dog into the area and we pop her into the down position. That's it, and she gets a little bit of praise. And then we do that again, Lauren. So we come out, and we rush into the send away, and pop the dog in the down. Let's give this little dog some encouragement, ladies and gentlemen. She's doing very well today. OK, come into the middle handlers so we can see what you're doing. So the next exercise we're doing is retrieve. So as you notice, some handlers are using a dumbbell. This is a compulsory item in some levels of obedience. The first thing we need to do is learn how to hold the article, but also how to give it back. So this has a practical use. If your dog has picked something up in the garden that it shouldn't have, you need to be able to get it back off them. 
So the first thing we're practicing is holding and giving. So if we have a look at our black Labrador in the middle there, this is Arthur. He's a young dog working on the lead. He's holding the dumbbell and then he gives it back. That's lovely. If we have a look at Jacob, he's our young golden retriever over on this side. This time we're placing the dumbbell out on the floor and we're asking Jacob to hold it and he brings it back and gives the dumbbell back. Let's give these dogs some encouragement. That was lovely. Okay, Lauren's just practicing a little sit stay in the middle with all the distractions. Now if we have a look at our Wesley over here, this is our other golden retriever. He's using an article. Now, when you get higher up in obedience, the judge decides on the article on the morning of the show. So you need to be practicing with all sorts of articles at home. So off he goes. There we are. Picks up. It's, it's a row of bottle tops that are joined together. So it's an unusual article. And take it. And finish. Well done, Wesley. Let's give him a, a round of applause. So. Over at the top there, we have Tony with Che. Again, a very keen dog. Off she goes to the article. And in the present, take it and finish. Well done, Che and Tony. Very good work. OK, so that gives you a very quick taster of obedience. Do come and see us to find out more. Well, give Claire a round of applause. Great display, uh, you, you and the team, Claire. A little inside your division. You can find her up in the activities area if you want more information. And next, we're moving on to uh, working trials. And the expert, who can normally be found in a field in the winter, is Sam Ford. Thank you, Dave. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have a short demo of working trials? What is working trials? Very much like police dog work. Divided into three sections, one of nose work, and that's what you're seeing now as search. It also has an agility section, but I think you've seen quite a bit of that already today, and a control section. This is Freddy. He's a six-year-old poodle. You might think rather unusual dog, but if you knew the handler Barry Gilbert, you'd know he could train Ivy up a wall. Excellent dog trainer felt he needed a challenge, one of the most successful trainers in the country. And here he's showing you control with the search. Sheila here, with her young dog, is going out placing some articles on the floor. Now, in a field, a dog would be finding these articles by scent. Here, of course, the grass would be much shorter, the artificial turf. So we're making sure that he brings the articles to hand, doesn't mouth them. Obviously, like a police dog, we don't want them swallowed. We don't want to lose vital evidence, if that were the case. And there, the dog retrieving, not mouthing, and bringing the articles back. And now, Judy with Brig. Bringing the articles back, nice and steady. Sheila's dog almost having afters on the way out. Second one back. And now the last article. Now, as Judy's just doing this, the last article is a plastic spoon. I must be careful where I walk, because Barry Gilbert, the team leader, is laying in the ring a track. Now, if you could imagine this is a grass field, right, and some 150 by 150, he's laying a pattern on the grass. The dog is going to be introduced, and this will be Sheila's dog, Teal, and be introduced onto a harness and line, and work this track. The dog, unlike the bloodhound, is not hunting. It is tracking a disturbance on the ground. Now the dog is actually picking up where Barry has walked. There's the first article. Well done, well done to Teal. Pockets the article and on we go. I can assure you that working in here on this artificial surface is not easy. Um, we had a straw poll amongst the handlers. Sheila lost, and she was given the task. There we go, second article. Now this, if you could imagine how much traffic has been in this area, this is extremely difficult. But this is just what police dogs do, tracking. 
And I have to say, I'm a little biased, but I think our dogs have the finest nose. But Leo and I will discuss that over a cup of coffee tonight. And here we see the dog coming down towards the end and finally picking up its, its last article. That's very good. Okay, Judy's just going to show you quickly before we finish a little bit of our send away. We're going to send the dog out to the marker and this could be up to 300 yards in competition and redirecting the dog. That's excellent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and thank you, team, for your demonstration. And thank you, Stan, for the little look into the fascinating world of working trials. Now we've got something, well, very interesting indeed. A lot of us know a little bit about good dogs. We're about to find out a little bit more. And the, the lady who's the expert on this, who can tell us all about it, is Philippa Williams. And Philippa's ready to start now. So I'm you over to Philippa Williams. Thank you, Dave. Good afternoon, everybody. Lovely to see you here. Uh, we're going to give you a little gun dog demonstration. You're going to have to have a bit of virtual reality um, training here. What we've got is that we've had a drive. That means that the game has been driven over the guns. And uh, us as pickers up have been stood quite far at the back. The beaters have brought the birds forward with the spaniels, etc. And now at the end of the drive, the guns have told us that uh, of course, they've shot mostly everything stone dead, of course, because they're brilliant guns. Um, but some of them actually have been wounded, and those, of course, must be retrieved as quickly and as humanely as possible, so fast and efficient. We'll just bring the team in, then. That's it, good luck. Oh, oh Baggins says, where's my mummy gone? Oh, there she is, yeah. So here we go, we've got a nice selection of golden retrievers, Labradors, and a very, very naughty spaniel. So, um, Sally, if you'd just like to start off, please. The guns have told us that there's, uh, they believe that there's some wounded game in the brushing. And, uh, oh, not, yeah, yeah, oh, that's very nice. Could we just have the brushing to the right, please? Not that I'm particular, you understand. See the control that the dog, the person has over the dog, Sally has over Baggins. She stopped him, she's taken him left into that, oh, look at that, good boy, good lad. So I think it's me next, so let's have a Labrador. No. Monkey, out there, chink, get over, chink, get over. Straight into that rushing. This is field trial champion, Levengill Isle of Arran. So uh, very, very biddable, the Labradors are very biddable. They're very reliable. You can depend on your Labbies. The Goldens have a little bit more of a sense of humor. They're not quite so predictable. They have a great sense of humor. Um, the flat coats, well, they're sort of on a bit of a year out most of the time. It's uh, very rewarding at the end of the day once you've got there. So you can see the control, the stop on the whistle, the handling ability. Right now, uh, field trial champion, Birds Green Street reward. Well done, Sal. By the way, row in there, that young dog is only two, just not even two years old yet. He's already one out of novice field trials, so tremendous potential there. This is Boise Bonkers with a head full of conkers. Boise, get over. Good lad. No, good boy. Good, so he wanted to go into the back bush and I've been told, no, those have all gone now. They've been picked, so we're going to get him into the left-hand bush. There we go, good man. So as I said before, dead game is retrieved after injured or wounded game. Your most important thing is that you dis retrieve and dispatch wounded or injured game as quickly as possible. Monkey, come here, come on, come here. Good lad. Shoot, shoot, get over. They shouldn't. Good man. Oh, my word. So that's just a bit of a tired rabbit, really. They shouldn't be retrieving live game scent, just shot game, or blood scent. So it's either shot scent or blood scent. Get on. Chimp, get on. Oh, he says, I can't now move away from the rabbit, Mummy. Chimp, get on. Get on. 
Hey, he said, I don't believe it. You don't want that rabbit. I said, I'd like that rabbit. Well done. So there he goes, in he goes. So again, they'd be running them up. Thank you very much, everybody. If they were going for a game sent, they'd be running a muck all over everywhere, wouldn't they? So uh, that's not on, so here we go. So is it, uh, is it time for the mental spaniel? Secret, the little working cocker. Oh, look at that for that young dog. How many? Oh, 15 seconds, quick, get the spaniel out. Secret, get over. Oh, she's going to get that. Go on, get on, go on, get on, get on. Oh, she's beaten to it. Ah, oh, no. Let's try her again. She quick, get on. Get over. Get over. Go on, get over. Get on. Well, that's going to have to eat for the day. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Come on, hold on. What a great display. Well done, Philip, for out the team. Let's give a big round of applause. And as they leave us, let's also thank the working trials team. Claire Coughlin and the obedience, Leo and the Bloodhounds, and finally, Jenny and the Hillworks music team. What a great display. Well done, team. Thanks very much.